Hey everybody, it is me, Angel Benton, and it is Saturday, and today is the day that we're all talking about Young and the Restless. Um, earlier today, I went looking for Chew High. I look, I'm looking for it in the United States. So, there's a Japanese market that's literally right around the corner from where I live. So, I walked into the Japanese market, and I asked her in Japanese, do you have any Chew High? And then she answers me in English... Yeah, we don't have a liquor license. We don't have any booze at all here. I was like, wow, okay. So she's like, yeah, try the market in Chinatown. They, I think they have some there at, uh, it's called Market 88 or 99 or something like that. It's in Chinatown, though. So I'm like, okay, thank you. So next time I'm in Chinatown, I'll check it out, but I'm not going to make a special trip. This was around the corner from where I live, so it wasn't that big of a deal, but um, yeah. I care, but I don't care that much to, <laughs> to trek all the way to Chinatown. I've got things to do. Anyways, um, so let's talk a little bit about Young and the Restless. I love me some Young and the Restless, right? So let's do a special couples edition. Let's talk about various couples on the show and how they're doing, right? So the main thing that happened this week was kind of just the fallout of uh, the whole Billy and Phyllis affair and Jack finding out about it. I mean, he found out about it last week or the week before but you know they're still feeling the reverberations of that and I feel like Jack is really like gearing up for you know some sort of either corporate storyline or maybe some sort of relationship storyline but nothing's happening with Jack just yet uh, Phyllis just blackmailed him into giving her a job at Jabot and he put her in the basement. I mean, like, it was pretty, it was pretty fucking fierce. <laughs> he, uh, he did own those scenes. That was pretty great. Um, anyways. So, that, I mean, the whole Billy Phyllis thing. Here's the thing. Do you remember, and this is going to tie into another couple on the show. Do you remember when Billy and Phyllis ran a magazine, a tabloid magazine called Restless Style? Do you remember that? Well, now they've kind of redone the whole thing with now it's called GC Buzz. It's not Russell Stahl, but it's very similar. And now Hillary and Devon are running it instead. I don't like it that it's basically just like a carbon copy of the whole story of Restless Style. Like that makes me, that really makes me irritated because I feel like that's not very creative in terms of, that's not creative writing. Like that is, that is recycled writing. And that's something that I would have accused Days of Our Lives of doing. That's something that the previous regime of Days would have done. Uh, uh, but now things have switched. See, this is the thing with all the various soap operas, especially if you watch them all. If you watch them all, you see that some of them are good at times and others are bad and it's an ebb and flow type of situation and with Young and the Restless right now I feel like they're a little bit stale because they had to recycle that storyline for Hillary and Devon maybe to give them something to do I mean and on the one hand I'm grateful that they have something to do let's let's let them act you know and see some but on the other hand it's like oh god but it's this boring tabloid bullshit. Although, um, kudos to David Faustino, uh, who played, um, who, uh, originated the role of Bud Bundy on, uh, Married with Children, and he played, uh, the owner of GC Buzz, the one that sold it to Devon, uh, beforehand, so, and he did a really good job, too. I was impressed. You go. Uh, he did really good. I will say that Young and the Restless does a good job when they pull out their guest stars. They go big, like, you know, well, not just Young, know, all the Bell shows. Bold and the Beautiful does this, too. So, like, for example, you know, Stephanie's mom was Betty White. I mean, fierce. Phyllis Diller had a recurring role on that show for years. Um, you know, Uhura was, well, Michelle Nichols. I, I call her Uhura because she was Uhura. But she was Neil's mom. So, those are the types of things that are really, you know, and... Uh, Catherine Bach, who played Daisy Duke, she's on the show as a regular now as Anita. So that's, I mean, I it's I think it's it's incredible. I, I love that. I love that they do that for their guest stars. That is actually really 
a very cool thing that Young and the Restless does. Oh, and Bold and Beautiful. They both do that. So kudos to the Bell Shows for, for doing that because that's really a good thing. Okay, so and okay, so back to the couples. So now Kevin and Chloe and Mariah and that whole situation. I totally see Mariah's point because, you know, one minute Chloe's freaking out about Kevin and doesn't want to hang out with Kevin, blah, blah, blah. And then now all of a sudden she wants to get back into things with Kevin. And Mariah's like, what the fuck? Right? Now, in all fairness, Mariah was kind of like that way before. Right? She tried doing things with Kevin and it didn't work out and they decided to just be friends. Well, now she wants to be more than friends again. So it's like, girl, come on. So maybe we need some more new young blood on the show to either distract Chloe or Mariah or maybe even Kevin to get them out of this kind of... St I mean, I, I on the one hand, I, I mean, I'm sorry. I just don't like Kevin and Chloe together. That They were great together when they were together, but I feel like their time was a while ago. Let them move on to other people, right? Uh, speaking of other people, let's talk about Kane and Lily. I love Kane and Lily. I love them a lot. I think they're great. Um, oh, oh, so there was a scene where um, it was either Victoria or Jill said something about Phyllis. No, I think it, no, it was Ashley. Here's, I feel bad for Ashley because Ashley doesn't really have a storyline of her own at the moment. So she's kind of floating in and out of other people's storylines. So she was talking to, Phil, to Billy because she had just seen Phyllis. And Phyllis had kind of wormed her way back into Jabot. And she was like, yeah, that woman that you slept with. Now, that would have been a perfect opportunity for Billy to say, oh, you mean Sharon? Oh, no. You mean Chloe? Oh, no. You, I mean, like, to then go through Victoria? No. Oh. I mean, uh, you know, to go through all the women that he slept with, because he's, he's bedded quite a few of the ladies of Genoa City. So that would have been a good, but he didn't do that. So I was like, eh, wah, wah, that's unfortunate. And I wonder also if that's because, well, that was how many Billies ago, right? Because he's been recast many times. And also how many head writers ago. That was a while too. So... You, I'm just, it's the history of the show. And normally Young and the Restless is really good at that. So we'll see how that plays out in the future. But uh, I, I'm not, I, I really wish that they would have kind of made an allusion to the past a little bit with that, you know. But que sera, sera. They, you know, they keep going, moving forward. So again, and Ashley is not doing anything great but Lily and Kane I love Lily and Kane and um and what's funny is that you know Kane he he's got his own storyline right now in terms of brash and sassy and chancellor and he wants to move up and he's you know got all this and and Billy did call him out he's like if it wasn't for Jill giving you this job what fucking resume do you have who who are you to say to demand some high power job I mean really where did you go to business school what the fuck so he's right though that's, and he's got a point. So, but Kane does have a really good way of, um, he's got a really lot of really great ideas that can have propelled him to the top of every company he's ever worked at. So it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. I'm wondering if, the, if maybe Billy will get jealous and then we'll delve into Kane's past and find out that he was actually like, you know, um, the guy that cleans up elephant crap in the circus or, you know, who knows? Like, I mean, like, who knows what they'll find out? That'll be, that'll be interesting to see. But I'm, FYI, I am still, I am reeling from last night's Real Housewives of Melbourne reunion. I cannot wait until I do RHO Melbourne on when, on Monday night. I'm really excited about that. But anyways, back to Young and the Restless. So I'm, I'm enjoying Young and the Restless. I'm enjoying their doing their outdoor shooting, which is good. Um, or, you know, the, the set for the park looks very similar to how it was shot when it was indoors. And I'm wondering if they're faking an outdoor shoot indoors. I don't know how they can do that, 
but if they do they're doing a damn good job of it they're, it's it's impressive so I'm, I'm i don't know i'm just curious about that anyways that's all the time i have for now thank you so much for tuning in and tomorrow i will be talking general hospital peace out follow me on twitter at angel benton and i will see you later bye